to one. Hey guys, it's Annie and Mia. So for this video, we're going to be testing something. We're going to be testing this, which is an ultimate chemistry lab from Universe. And it says that we get to that says that we can create bath bombs, compounds, and glowing experiments. I've never made bath bombs before, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. And on the back it comes with 20 experiments to choose from. And um, it comes with a poster with this whole kit. And I think it's it might work because it looks like it will. Yeah, this looks really promising because most kits like this, they never work out, like ever. But this one actually looks promising. I don't know why maybe it's the way the colors go together, but yeah. So let's open this ultimate chemistry lab. Just rip off the cover like that. Get off the back and get started. Wait, we need scissors to open this. So it looks like on the front, it's very, cl it's clear and you can see exactly what it comes with. So it comes with a bunch of stuff, like a lot of stuff. So, okay. so just cut up on the annoying zip ties. Okay, and let's open Wait, this. there's tape. More things to cut. Why does it have to be like this? Wow, look at that. It's like you can take it everywhere with you. Uh, my super awesome universe poster. Okay, let's open it. Super awesome. Whoa, it's just, I opened it and there was just an explosion of color. You see green, and then you see this explosion of color. Yeah, actually, we really think it's it. Okay. So, oh, fun fact. Did you know bath bombs were invented in 1989 by Mel one of Lush's founders? So bath bombs were invented by Lush. And it even comes with instructions. Oh, this is where you make the bath bomb right here. This is the smallest glue ever. If we're supposed to make slime with this, that no. How now? This person has this much slime on their hand. Poor scratch. There is a this big is difference it? with how much glue there is. A huge difference. Okay. What is this? Mineral oil. Mineral oil is probably used for it. Oh, dye. Is this dye? Please tell me it's dye. I'm an experienced person. Wait. What do we do? Pick. That's so thick. So we have. This is probably going to be a mixing tool. It comes with a really big measuring cup that you could probably yeah. use after it for other things, which is really cool. And then this is, I, I'm not a professional bath bomb lush maker, but. Oh, it's coloring. They're, they only have. And I think it's This whole bottle is not even filled up. Really the whole bottle's not even filled up. Only half of it is I filled. thought this was good. Ugh. Look how tiny this funnel is. So we have a tiny funnel. Okay. This is good amount. This, this looks so professional. We have. We have oh. tiny beakers. No, these are not beakers. We got baking soda, citric acid, sodium, sodium tetraborate, cornstarch, and zinc sulfide. We also have Epsom salt. Look how dark this purple is. These colors are kind of ugly. Well, I don't imagine. It gives you a lot. Okay, so for the bath bombs, we need baking soda, we have citric acid, cornstarch, Epsom salt, coconut oil. What coconut oil? <laughs> there is no coconut oil. But what? This is mineral oil. It's just coconut oil, it's not included. But essential oil, which is also not included. I'm just mica powder. Water, which is also not included, but you know what? I'm gonna get the water. Let's do purple. Measuring cups, which is also not included. But isn't this a measuring cup? Okay. So we're just gonna go grab all the stuff that we don't already have. So we have a eucalyptus essential oil. Since eucalyptus smell good. 
We got coconut oil in a bowl and we don't have water yet because we're going to get that once we find out how much water we need. So first is just to mix all of your dry ingredients together in a bowl. So we just put it over some more water because it's like a little clumpy. Step four is add water to the mixture. Measure one fourth teaspoon of water as you as you are blending the mixture with one hand. Slowly sprinkle the water into the mixture with the other. <gasps> it's frying! So it says in the kit, if the mixture starts to foam, you're adding water too fast. Quickly, quickly rub the parts that are foaming into the areas that are foam free. You should have mixture consistency that's slightly damped sand and should clump together when you squish the mixture with your hands. Okay, so it says that it should be enough for you to be able to squish it together and then it comes together. So, yes, it does, which is exciting. It's making this weird. And it is going to look ugly. There's so much. Let me get that out. This is so messy. The thing won't close. Okay, this is not closing. Just, mm. Okay, so it says to leave it in the mold for one minute, so we're gonna leave it. For one minute. That's probably not true. It's so messy. Let me fix it, Mia. So I've been sitting here for one minute just holding this bath bomb, and we're going to open it up, and whatever there is, we're just gonna deal with it. And we're going to go ahead and put it in this bowl of water. We're gonna open this bath bomb, which is not formed at all. Not like a bath bomb at all. It's super Ew. fizzy and just, okay. That's it has a circular shape for just like a little tiny bit and it's really air bubbly. I don't know if we did something wrong, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just throw it in here. Ugh. It's just working. Oh, my shit. And Actually, this stuff, it's like hard, just like a bath bomb should be. So I'm just gonna throw this little thing because it's actually hard like a bath bomb. Yeah. I think you're supposed to leave it in there, a the little thing in the mold before. Now it's actually fizzing like a real bath bomb. It is. It's burning my fingers. Why is it burning my fingers? It's probably we did something wrong. Yeah. By the way, I suggest that if you want to make these bath bombs, you leave them in the mold for a lot longer. Yeah. Like, leave them in the mold for three minutes, five minutes, because it definitely takes a lot longer. It does. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next thing that we're going to do. So the next thing we're going to be doing is making slime. Three bags of sand. We have some purple, blue, and pink. And we also need sodium tetraborate. We need measuring, we need a measuring cup. Which is also not included. Glue. This tiny, tiny, tiny little bottle of glue is gonna make a slime. Okay, so we need the mixing stick, disposable cups, and a measuring spoon. Is fill a disposable cup with 10 to 15 milliliters of water. What if we just use a glass cup? You know, we're just gonna use the glass cup because, yeah. Uh, we're gonna measure out 15 milliliters of water and just put 15. it in here. 15. It says 15. 15. So just that one. This is ours. I feel like the slime is going to turn out bad too. Bam. Bam. And so we have to stir it until it dissolves. So there's apparently 40 milliliters. What? This whole bottle is almost used. Woo! Okay, yeah, there. That's the whole bottle. To pour the glue into it, rip it all out. And then we slowly pour. I'm guessing that this is the activator, so we're gonna go ahead and slowly pour this into there. And then once it starts to come together, it's time to start using your hands. Pour that in. Slowly. Wow, it's starting to activate. It started to activate already, which is good. This is actually probably going to be at least a little good. At least a little stretchy. So it's not that bad, so we're going to take this 
thing out and just work with her hands. Really? You know what, this one's tiny. It's actually, it doesn't feel like Kit's slime. It's actually really good right now. Yeah. You know, this one's actually pretty good. It's oh, not look at my slime. Here you go, you can have half of this. Thank you. I actually know what, this is pretty good. Okay, so the next thing that we have to do is slowly pour the sodium tetraborate tetra solution into the glue slash sand solution. Once your solution clumps together, it's time to start using your hands. But it told us to start using your mixtures, but hopefully this makes this thing look a lot cooler. Yeah, than that. Okay, so we're just going to pour it. How you much? got anemia. How much sand oh, did gosh. it say to use? It doesn't say exactly how much sand. Let's just use the whole thing. And we have some more. Purple. And then some more pink. And then some more blue. Unicorn! Okay, now let's just mix it all together. It's so pretty! But that's a lot. That's what like a it, lot of sand. I don't think it's. I think I don't think we're supposed to put it, in that much. What if it turns into connect? Oh, <gasps> it's so pretty. Whoa. You know what? I like that slime one. You know, much. I love this. Me too. Wow. This is like kinetic sand. That's so pretty. It like doubles in size. I had really low expectations for this. Me you know too. This is actually a lot better. But it does not search that good. But it's like nice. I feel like if we work it in a little bit more, it'll stretch. So it looks really cool. And it doesn't really stretch like at all. Uh -huh. You know, it's not the best slime ever. Yeah. It but it's a pretty best. good slime for kids slime. It's really pretty too. That's so stiff. It's really stiff, but it stretches just a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll make sure to comment down below which which experiment we did that you like the best, and make sure to subscribe and give this video a like. So, our overall thoughts are that this kit deserves. I would say that it deserves a three and a half stars because some of the stuff. The bath bomb kind of just really went wrong, but the only thing you should do with the bath bomb experiment is leave it in the mold for a little bit longer, and it doesn't give you a lot of the ingredients. Like, you probably won't have a lot of the stuff. And I chose three and a half too because, like, because everything was going on wrong with the bath bomb. Everything was falling apart, but you kind of got a little something at the end. Yeah, at the end. But the slime was pretty good. And things were missing in the whole chemistry thing. And I didn't really think it was that good. It's actually really good if you if you know how to do it already. So if I if we both knew already that to the bath bombs that we need to leave them out a little longer, then we would. And the only thing is, read the instructions through very thoroughly because you might get something completely wrong and different from what it wants you to do. Bye! What kind of bath bomb is this big? Hi guys, by the way, do not subscribe, JK.